everybody and welcome to my channel. I am Warbs and this is Neville. Uh, Neville is my 2006 VW T5 van, um, aptly named Neville by my nine-year-old son. Um, do not ask why. Uh, I got the van and I said to him, we're going to have to name the van. And he instantly said Neville. So it's kind of start, get fits. And uh, that's what we're going with. So um, yeah. As you can see, I have already started the conversion. I started um, three to four months ago. Um, I wish I had started documenting um, my progress from the start, but this is the first time I've ever done anything like this, um, as in recorded myself, put a video on YouTube. Um, so apologies if I sound a bit awkward, a bit nervous. Um, I think this is about take 11 or 12 of this first video. Um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, but no, I would. Uh, I want to document my progress and um, my ventures in the van. Um, been kind of inspired by a lot of other sort of YouTubers um, or videos on YouTube of, of the camper van builds. Um, if it helps somebody um, get into doing this kind of thing, then then it's all good. It's uh, um, the game of the van. It's something I've always wanted to do. Um, I I fish quite a bit. I, I paddleboard. Um, I, I like being adventurous, so yeah, I think when um, when the time was right, I, I, I bought the van and here we are. Um, so yeah, as, as I said, I've, I have already started the conversion. Um, I've done things, uh, all the walls have been insulated, um, ply lined insulated, sound deadened and carpeted with the four-way stretch carpet. Um, I have this one to do, which is my plan to start today. I'm going to do this one today. Um, fitted windows all around the van um the back driver side window um is a dummy window on the outside because that's where my my units are going to be up in that corner so it's pointless putting a window in there so uh obviously all my electrics are going to go up on this this section as well so dummy window on the outside uh powered on the inside and insulated. um i fit a new new ply floor which i'll fit the uh the sort of wood effect lino to um I've had my my fishing trolley in here, which has got uh, sort of spiky feet on it, which has indented the uh, the lino a little bit. So I'm probably going to change that at some point in the future. I am going to put a real wooden floor down. Um, this stuff is fairly soft and I think it will tear quite easily. So um, the wooden stuff, will I think, will last a lot longer and um, essentially look a lot better. Um, fit the T5.1 Sportline front end um, as it had just the standard uh, T5 front end on um, a set of the Van Slam coilovers. Um, I think it's about 75 to 80 mil. We lowered the van. Um, being a T32, it sat quite high. So um, and the ride when everything, but when there's no weight in here, the ride was quite bouncy, really bouncy. It was like being on a boat. Um, <laughs> so yeah, the coilover sorted that right out. It's 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 nice to drive now. It's really nice to drive. Um, I have just recently ordered all my units, my kitchen units and uh, and everything, which are going to be in a um, graphite grey colour to sort of go with the, the, the dark sort of grey theme that's going on in here. Um, I don't know why I went with the dark grey theme. I just think it looked really nice being a black van. It kind of suited it. So, um, yeah, I'm going to give a, a huge, huge thank you to Northern Rose Campers um, for their help with, with the units. Um, I'm quite a distance from them, so I couldn't travel up to collect the units or have them fit them. So they're sending me down uh, the complete package in a, in flat pack. So I've got to build them myself and install them myself. Um, but th they look absolutely amazing. I've been sent pictures of, of what they're going to look like. They're, they're being made as we speak. Um, if you guys are looking for, for, for units or anything like that for your vans, I highly, highly recommend Northern Rose Campers. Um, Check them out. Have a look on their website, www.northernrosecampers.co.uk. Um, I think that's correct. Um, if it's not, I will put the correct website address in the comments. Um, but Kev and Andy are the guys that have been been helping me. It's really, really good. Um, very, very helpful. Um, yeah, just, just check them out if you're looking for, for a kitchen units set up. Um, I have also ordered my rock and roll beds. Um, from a company called Luso Campers. Again, brilliant company, very, very helpful. Um, pleasure to deal with, real, real pleasure to deal with. Um, 
the rock and roll bed is going to be in uh, uh, blue and grey uh, GTI tartan inserts with the Alcantara. How, how do you pronounce this? Alcantara? Alcantara? Alcantara. We'll go with that for now. Uh, Alcantara um, outsides, uh, the same as the seats. These front seats are um, going on an exchange basis. So Lusso are delivering um, my new set of seats and a new bed, and they're going to take these back with them. Um, and the seats are being done in the same style. So the seats are being done in the uh, with, with the the GTI Tartan inserts with the Alcantara um, on the sort of the, the outsides of the headrest. How they're done. Um, I've got a captain seat here as well, so like the armrests will all be done in the Alcant Alcantara Alcantara. Um, but yeah, uh, I'll give you a quick walk around of the van, um, show you what I've done. Um, it was a builder's van when I bought it, so. Um, inside and out needs some tidying inside i spent quite a while uh, tidying everything up getting everything you know looking half decent um ready for the carpeting um outside needs a bit of work um some dents scratches bits and bobs uh it's going to be last on the list to, to be done um i want it to be functional inside first so this summer um, I can enjoy it. You know, we can go away uh, with with my little and um, have weekends away. There's some festivals I want to go to. Um, yeah, so I'm going to get all the inside done first, and then later on in the year, potentially next year, um, I will get it off and get get the bodywork done, full respray. Um, it, it will stay black. I'll keep it black. Um, but there we go. Yes, uh, I hope that wasn't too bad for my my first my first video, my first upload. As I said, I think this is take 11 or 12. Um, <laughs> but yeah, if you like what you see, like and subscribe. Um, any advice that you can give me, I will be very much appreciated. Um, criticism as well. Um, you know, it's, this is the first time I've done a van conversion. So um, I'm kind of playing it. I'm winging it. Um, watching a lot of YouTube videos uh, on forums, on on Facebook pages, getting, getting help and advice. Um, I built many cars over the years. Um, I'm not a mechanic. I'm, I'm an electrician by trade. Um, so yeah, you know, any any help, advice, criticism, far away. You know, I'm I'm happy for it. So uh, yeah. Anyways, like and subscribe, and uh, I will now show you what what I've done so far. So as you can see, uh, flooring's down. The walls are carpeted, insulated. As said before, ceiling is in with the spotlights. Um, the cab ceiling has been carpeted as well. Excuse the massive great sub. Um, I should have also cleaned the van before I uh, started this video, but um, I haven't had much of a chance. So um, yeah, it's a bit dirty at the moment. <laughs> you see the windows in, um, the T5.1 Sportline front end. Um, sits quite low at the moment, but clear speed bumps, clear, clear curbs, so hopefully I'm gonna be okay with that. And uh, yeah, that's about how far I've got at the moment. I decided to take the sliding door right off the van to insulate and uh, carpet it. Um, I took the carpet sort of up to the top of the uh, the door and around the sides, but kept away from the seals um, just to stop any water coming in um, and, and, and not sort of hinder the seals at all.